Is the UK running out of babies? If the population growth rate in the UK is anything to go by, the pertinence of the question titling this video may not be quite obvious. After all, the country experienced a 0.4% growth rate between 2020 and 2021. Even France and the populous US did not experience such growth within the same period as they only had 0.3% and 0.1% growth respectively. Does that mean that more babies are being born to families in the country? Figures suggest otherwise. The demographic constitution of the population shows that the population is aging. This means that fewer babies are being born in the country nowadays. Hence the question, is the UK running out of babies? Please enjoy this video. What figures are showing? Let's explore statistics and demography to have a vivid idea about how blessed or starved the UK is regarding babies. We'll analyse the observations of the population and reproductive experts with official statistics. In 2021, the number of children per woman in England and Wales averaged 1.58. That was about half of what it had in 1964, its peak year when the region had an average of 2.93 babies per woman. It was even lower in Scotland, which recorded 1.29. Meanwhile, to keep the population rate stable, the replacement level needed would be an average of 2.1 babies per woman. Against the backdrop of the current millennial impoverishment, the Office for National Statistics, the ONS, believes that there's growing worry over the fact that the UK is running out of babies. Granted, birth rates have been falling in every nation for over a decade. However, the menace is more pronounced in the country than in other places. In Northern Ireland, for example, there has been a 9% decrease in the population of children aged up to 14 over the past decade. In England and Wales, since the 2012 most recent peak, there has been a 15.9% drop in the number of live births. Last year, Scotland witnessed the second lowest annual total live births registered in almost 200 years. This state shows that there's a long-term trend toward having fewer children. But what is the cause? What effect is that having now? How can it shape the future of the country negatively? What can be done about it? Reduced fertility. Having firmly established that the UK is experiencing a shortage of babies, it means that the fertility rate in the country has reduced. But what does that mean? It means basically three things. But we would love to hear from you in the comments section if you believe there's more to that. Firstly, it means couples' inability to make babies from lovemaking. It also means couples' unwillingness to have babies because of external factors we'll soon explore together if you stay with us till the end of this video. And finally, lifestyle and societal changes take babies out of the wedlock equation. Despite the great advancement of reproductive technology, we still have couples who are childless against their wish. During World Infertility Month 2022, it was said that approximately 3.5 million people in the UK are struggling with one fertility issue or the other. This means that about one in every six couples in the country will struggle to conceive naturally. A large percentage of this will never be able to achieve pregnancy through any other means. For such, adoption is the only way to have babies. Some have to resort to fertility treatments, the most common of which are in vitro fertilization or IVF and egg freezing. The regulatory body Human Fertilization and Embryology Authority HFEA, says that IVF birth rates for patients 43 years and below have been on a steady increase since 2013. It also refers to the increased success rates of the number of egg and embryo storage cycles. However, all these are luxuries that are available only to those with huge financial resources to pay for the services in the first place. How many among the 3.5 million barren couples could afford that? The cost of private IVF treatment is huge everywhere. The NHS estimates in the UK it costs at least £5,000 per cycle. The full process of egg freezing costs around £7,000 to £8,000 on average and this invasive procedure has a low success rate. According to available data, the birth rate for couples using the wife's frozen eggs is 18%. This doesn't mean NHS generally covers the cost of this procedure of fertility treatments. It does so under certain stringent conditions, especially in England. Even in Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland, where funding is set aside for this, it's not available for every couple needing it. 
It'd be tough to wrap our heads around the number of babies that'll never be born in the country through this kind of reduced fertility. Another meaning of reduced fertility, gay. According to the data from the ONS, there are estimated 320,000 same-sex couples living together in the UK. That means that, at the moment, the country is at least 320,000 babies short. The prospect of having their own children is something that is not extended to homosexuals, and that's their choice. After many LBGTs have sort of navigated through their lives so far, they're left with adoption as the only option. However, adoption does nothing to increase the number of babies. It only provides homes and parenting for those lacking it among the babies already made. The more the number of gay couples, the more the UK will be running out of babies. External factors reducing fertility in the UK The third meaning explains the reason why the UK is in shortage of babies. We're talking about couples, a man and a woman, who decided against childbearing. There are external, societal or environmental factors informing this decision that might seem strange to some cultures. Social Market Foundation, the SMF, says the baby shortage is a result of economic factors. When ministers set up a cross-government committee to look into this issue, it found that typical British working parents spent 22% of their income on full-time childcare. It's a struggle for wages to keep up with annually increasing inflation and the skyrocketing cost of living. A couple in their 30s who have been living together in Belfast for six and a half years said, Kids cost money, loads of it. There's food and prams and childcare and everything. Yes, the husband has achieved everything a young person in his 30s is expected to have done for himself. Both of them have stable jobs, fetching them good incomes, allowing them a modest lifestyle. In fact, together they have brought a home. Still, they can't see themselves coping with the cost of bringing up babies. The story of this couple has become the norm rather than the exception. As a result, many like them are entering a phase of life where they find themselves at a loss. They're expected to be able to begin raising a family as they're running against the freshly sharpened pressures of time due to increasing age. But confronted with the economic and other demands of parenthood, they couldn't just fathom the way through. Imagine how bleak the outlook must have seemed for those in less fortunate circumstances. The ONS attributes the decline in the number of births to people deciding to have kids later in life. They're devoting the earlier part of their lives to their education and career, and they have unfettered access to contraception. Now that the housing market is out of control, the question of finding a comfortable place to raise a child is big. Effect now and in the future The baby shortage confronting the UK could lead to long-term economic stagnation. As the birth rate is half of what it was in the 1960s, the increase in the ageing population could lead to economic decline. This is an invitation to a shortage of working age adults as the population gets older. According to SMF, for every 10 workers, there are about 3 over 65s. But by the middle of the next decade, it would have risen to above 3.5. Is pronatalism the way out? Maybe. Pronatalism is an official policy or program of encouraging childbearing through governmental support which could lead to a higher birth rate. This policy has been adopted by more than 28 countries. Some countries practice it in form of direct payment to expectant or new parents. In France, for instance, there's a birth grant of 950 euros. It's been argued the UK should join the country practicing liberal pronatalism. People who want to have children or are desirous of having more will be encouraged by being given more support to do so. By doing so, the country can curb its current shortage of babies. Based on the facts presented in the aforesaid, we can be emphatic with our yes answer to the question we are dealing with. Please, what can you say about that? Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.